Aruba has been treating us quite nicely, but it's been a couple of hard weeks trying to fix everything that broke on the passage. Not knowing how long we were going to stay here or where we could go next. But every cloud has a silver lining and Aruba gave us the chance to meet some important people from my past. Hello, Hi. it's Brenda. <laughs> Three years ago, my boat broke in half while sailing from Tahiti to Hawaii. It was a devastating experience, but luckily we made it home safe. To help us through the rough times, I created a Kickstarter campaign that offered a week on my boat for the top contributors. Sadly, as we all know, COVID destroyed everyone's plans, but the time has finally arrived for you to meet a beautiful couple that won a week on Zingaro 2. Let me introduce you to Martha and Scott. They've been waiting two long years, so let's go. It's way past time to take them sailing on Zingaro. So by the way, we're motoring now, obviously, because you can hear the motor. And uh, you know, as much as I hate the motor and I hate two motor, the wind is just not cooperating with us today. It's like going this way, then that way, then this way, then this way, and I just, I got sick of messing with the sails. I just wanna, we're almost there. So the last couple hours is like, for me, it doesn't count. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, being in the Leah Curse, the, the seas are so small now. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing. But how are you feeling? I'm feeling much better, thank you. Yeah, good. 4.7. The problem is, we're not pointed towards Clan Curacao. So there's our boat. And this is the island we want to go to. Um, as you can see, we're not really pointed that direction. So rule number one in sailing is pick a direction you want to go. And rule number two is whatever direction that is, don't go that way. Go a different direction. And rule number three is have all the ingredients for pina coladas. If you like pina colada. Because sailors are heavy drinkers. The island, we cannot see yet, but it's over there over that direction. The wind is um, variable and there's some serious current because we were just doing like two and a half knots. I got the main back out. Just furled up the jib. It's, this is like, for a sailor, this is the least fun conditions because we're trying to get upwind. We're constantly changing the sails. It's constantly variable. We can't like go fast. It's just very frustrating. We should have been there by now. But this is what happens, we're almost there. And it'll make it that much sweeter, right? Oh, this is a cute photo of you guys. I'm gonna take a photo of you. Yeah. Just lay back and smile. All right. <laughs> Flying Curacao, little Curacao. We made it! We made it to Klein Curacao! Oh my god, it took us three days. I haven't eaten. I need to poop. Yeah. So this is Klein Curacao behind us. It's nice. Now I've made it. <laughs> Long are journey. Are you guys happy to be here? Yes. Yes, I want to go walking on the beach. No, you, you want to go to the beach? Yeah. I'm going to go take these guys into shore and they can, um, you guys can climb on the, um, I'd, I'd recommend going to the lighthouse.
perdida y tres pescados. Blue Jack. This is the same fish. This is trigger fish. It's like a trigger. He, li he lifts up. And he kind of looks like a sunfish when he's in the water. He's a weird looking fish. They're hard to clean. So a lot of people don't eat them, but they're a good fish. Okay, there's the fish. It still looks a little red in the middle. I'm gonna let him kind of stew there for a while. This is what's left over from dinner last night. I didn't have a chance to film that because I was too busy eating it. I was very hungry and then I slept for like 13 hours. And now it's day two on the island. We've been swimming all day, right? Yep. yep. Snorkeling, swimming. What did you see today? Saw some fish. Lots okay. of fish. Anything else? What did you see, Scott? Stingray. Down by the entrance. Pretty cool. Was it worth it, Martha? Was it worth all the trouble and all the sickness? You know, yes, it was worth it. You have, just have to tough it out. And then go to sleep, and then you're fine. Once again, we are treated to a culinary delight from the wonderful Anna. <laughs> Anna, tell us what we've won. Tacos. Tacos con pescado y frijoles y vegetales. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Here's the beans. Here's the vegetables. Here's the fish. And you even toasted the tortillas. You're the best cook ever. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Good job. Be the judge of that. Yes, it is nutritious. All right, as always, we have to say goodbye to favorite places. And this was definitely a, a nice, nice time. I think this was our favorite, my favorite place that I took you guys, that's for sure. How about you? Oh yeah, beautiful water. And you know what? Trying to get here over the course of like a week and I think it made it all that much sweeter. Yeah, it was very nice here. Unfortunately, we only were able to spend one day here, but we get to sail off anchor. So we're gonna put the main out. We're just gonna put that sail out and then undo the lines from the front of the boat and call it a day. We'll sail away. Vamanos. <laughs> so if you wanna plan this for your tack, you gotta untie these at the right time for your boat to go one way or the other because all boats, catamarans and trimarans and monohulls all go beat sideways to the wind. So wind's coming from here, we're sideways to it. And there's our lines. Now all we gotta do is pull them up. Keep us on this course, this is it. How are we feeling on the downwind run? Pretty good. Slow and steady. It's um, it's always very rough right here in this patch between Klein Curacao and Curacao. It's just confused seas and you get a lot of weird waves. So give it a minute. We'll, it'll lighten up once we get in the lee of Curacao and then on the way to Aruba it'll mellow out a little bit. We'll probably have following seas there. Sailor wants to go faster. Should we put out the spinnaker? Let's get the forecast and then we'll decide whether to put out the spinnaker or not. Because if it's gonna get up to like 25 tonight. Did you guys ever hear that joke? A string walks into a bar, the bartender says, are you a string? We don't serve string, get out. So the string walks out and another string's walking in at the same time, he's like, hey bud, you can't go in there, they don't serve string. And he's like, oh, okay. And he ruffles up his hair and ties it in a knot. And he goes in the bar, gives the guy the thumb, gives the other string the thumbs up and a smile, goes into the bar, says the bartender. Bartender says, are you a string? I thought I just told the other one, we don't serve string. And he's like, nope, I'm afraid not. 
not, wah, wah, wah. not even a laugh. <laughs> not even a laugh. Not even a chuckle. <laughs> it was more funny that the joke sucked than the joke itself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what Putting out the spinnaker. We gotta beat these guys. You see the other boat? The otra barco? Mm -hmm. Okay, your job is going to be to feed this out, okay? Good. Uh, tie it off, tie the down hole off to the leak there. All right. That line needs to get out of your way, okay? Take the port jib sheet and get it out of there. Can you pull on this line, this color line, on that side? Pull. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, 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 pull. pull. Get it through there. Come on, let's spin again. Tie it off to the front cleat, like it was before. Oh. Spinnaker was a complete failure. We've got the jib out again. That was a workout, yeah? Yeah. I'm sweating. It's been Scott's sweating. Everybody's sweating. That's a. That's one of those sails where you just, uh, really? It's awesome if it works, but that I think that sock, I, need, I just need to replace the sock on it. Yeah, it got twisted at the top and we couldn't get it down for a while. Yeah, it was tough. That happened one time and she almost ended up flying in the water. Supposed to be straight. This is this this is bent. This is bent. This is this is completely snapped. So I'd have to get this piece, that piece, this piece. And that's it. It's all the plastic pieces. This is plastic, so this piece can be saved. It's just the the bottom and top. Oh, you know what? I I bet I can make this piece. I'm gonna jerry rig this man because this 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 doesn't need to be replaced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is now nighttime on our sail back to Aruba. This will be the last sail with the Neppers. Pleasure to have you guys, Neppers. I love you guys. Great crew. He helped me fix so much stuff. What do you think? De I'm pienso. happy. Yeah? yeah. Delicious dinner. Yeah, we cooked the rest <laughs> of that fish, the other jack, and I got another... Um, what the, what's the word in English? Cargo snapper. And then uh, we had a little salad. And now we're sailing back. Let's go see what the neppers think. This is a wine cork. This is a wine bottle. That paired with a note. A message in the bottle. Oh, what did you write? Wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh, all it. right. Okay, February 22nd, 2022. This message was thrown overboard from this sailing vessel, Sailing Zingaro, off the coast of Syracau. Is that how you say Curacao. it? Curacao. Curacao. It found, sent an email to, with the location and date when found, we love you, Scott and Martha Nepper. Oh, that's wow. so cute. <laughs> all right, roll it up. All right, I'm gonna roll it up. Roll it up and put it in. And then someday somebody will find this and send us a message back. Okay, so put I'm it gonna in here. put it in down here just so I can see it, okay? Yeah, here you go. Here's the message. All right. All right, message in a bottle. Here we go. Message doesn't fit. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. There it is. It's in the bottle. What, would you like to cork it off? Here, I'll let you. I'll let you pound in the cork. All right. Let me. Um, good. Let me Were you just this. saving this just for us? Yeah. Oh. It was. Get it in there, good, Martha. Uh, Maybe I you should I give, it Here's give it to Scott. Here, Scott. I love this light. It's called a Loom Cube, and it's got a diffuser on it. It's like a. It's like a LED light inside. A bunch of LEDs and uh it turns on like this you just push the button oh and then light turns on and then you can 
you can um, set the temperature of the light and you can set the uh, brightness of the light. So right now we're at 1% brightness. I'll, I'll turn it to 10%. And you push the button and you can go to 6,000, or I'm sorry, 5,600 or 3,200. 3,200 is more of a warm light. Ah, uh, there we go. Here we go. Now we can see. Looks kind of funny, huh? It's the bottle. Where do you think it'll end up? Key West or the other beach where the glass falls are found? <laughs> hey, it's floating. We look forward to your comments. <laughs> These guys are the cutest. That'll be funny. My little boat. All right, it's 7 a.m. and we made it to uh, Aruba. Just a bit. Yeah, there. There's no free here. Jesus Christ! What a freaking crazy way to moor. What is up my beautiful people? This looks like one of those Zoom backgrounds where people are like having a meeting and putting this on in the background and then green screening their head out of it. But this is actually real. I'm coming at you from Bermuda. Much love from Bermuda. And I'm gonna just turn this while the sun is turning. The boat's kind of moving around. <laughs> I am on the back of a 60 foot yacht that I am taking across the Atlantic for the owner right now. I've got an all veteran crew and two patrons aboard. Speaking of patrons, if you guys ever want to come crew with me, I take my crew exclusively from my patron list. Uh, they have first dibs and then I start contacting people from YouTube or from find a crew or, or different websites. So if you've ever wanted to go to sea with Zingaro, you've got to be a patron. Also, you get benefits like t-shirts and hats and access to my patron-only WhatsApp group with currently 150 amazing boaters. People are in there getting, giving advice. They're in there helping with problems. They're in there meeting up together to go sailing. It's an amazing group of people. And if you want access, just go to this link, patreon.com slash svzingaro. Sign up to be a patron. It's three bucks a month. If you like the videos and you like the content, think about it. Lastly, I'd like to thank the patrons that signed up for the end of the month of May. This is for the last two weeks of May, since it is the, the end of May. And probably when you're seeing this, the very beginning of June, I hope you guys all have a beautiful June. Especially Mr. Kevin Duran, thank you. John Pichotto from the Azores, I will come see you when I get there. Benjamin Nusky, thank you sir. Webmaster Eagle, awesome. Jimmy Turner, thank you Jimmy, I really appreciate that. Gareth Wheeler, Gareth, and Avi. Avi, thank you very much. And everybody else, much love. I'll see you next time. It's going to be a brand new series of videos. You're going to love it. Much love. I'm just going to leave this on just for a second. Maybe, maybe like the end screen can go here, you know?